Okay, this is the uh, June 24th meeting of the Conway no, no Board of Selectmen. Uh, we will also be meeting in a joint meeting with Hello. the Finance Hi. Committee at 6.30. 6.30? 6 6 Hi, Roy. Our meetings is being taped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing Roy. later by our residents Roy. and the public. I'm sorry, 610, I lied. 610? Yeah. Okay, so now we yep. so can <laughs> First item on the agenda. The estate charge. Are we ready over there? Yep. Tom? Yeah. First item on the agenda. We have the meeting uh, minutes for uh, Monday, June 10th. Yeah. Has everybody read the minutes? Yeah. <sighs> Any changes? Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for um, the June 10th meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Okay, next item on the agenda, we have four warrants. We have a vendor warrant uh, for June 26, $413,575. A vendor warrant for July 1 for $83,632. Payroll warrant for June 27th for $138.884. $138,884 and a payroll deduction warrant for June 25th for $33,761. Make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? I did have a question about one of them, and I, that's what I was previewing for Tom. Um, just There was a charge for three, almost $3,000 for a Massachusetts Water Pollution Control Abatement Fund or something like that. And so, um, Seeing as we don't have a water supply, a town charge for water my, my pollution abatement trust. Okay. Well, so, so, uh, we'll so, do, so, there's a request to answer that question for next week. If, we'll do that uh, offline. Yeah. Well, you know, it'll be in here. So. Uh, go ahead, please. I still second it. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. So, yeah. So, um, in case you haven't heard, this, we multiple negotiation sessions for our union thirty-eight teachers union. Um, in the end, one final long, long thing, and we uh, declared an impasse, and we are in state mediation with our teachers <laughs> union. Jeez. And uh, how long has that been going on now? Yeah, six, six um, months. I I tracked hours. I lost count over a hundred. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm the chairman of that committee, and apparently we've never gone to mediation with our teachers' union before, and uh, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, that was not the intent. But we all kind of agreed that it's good at this point to have a third party just listen to what we're... Um, because we're... <sighs> It, 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 when, when, and and we, we did talk about what it's what's okay to mention publicly that we are at, at an impasse. We did jointly mm -hmm. declare an impasse. We did jointly file uh, for state mediation. There is a state agency that does this. They don't. It's not a non. It's a non-binding mediation. They don't sure. declare winners and losers. They they just try to get you to an agreement. Um, but uh, and, and and we did want to make sure that when uh, we we agreed on the vast amount of everything um there's just a few a few things that we're stuck on and it's really uh, we have different views of the universe when it comes to these specific items and you know what's the nature of a contract is it to make up for historical injustices or historical things from in the past or do you start each contract at zero and go from there and so that's really it's it's one of these um yeah Past injustices, huh? Seems to be a lot of that going around. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so what will happen? I mean, will they continue operating under the old contract? The state agency now has a six-month backlog, we're told. So it's mm. it's six months where they'll be going under the old contract before we start. Um, a, lot of, a lot of towns are, are um, up really up against it on their, their con school contracts. And I can understand why they have a six-month backlog. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, but there, there's no strike talk, or there's no strike. Know. We're all still in on you know good friend. It, it, there wasn't there wasn't hard feelings. There wasn't hard words. Um, it's just we we couldn't come to an agreement on on everything. And hmm. uh, uh, 
despite the best efforts of myself at least. I can't speak for everybody, but um, certainly tried, tried. And uh, yeah, so that was, that was, uh, I'm still a little bit upset about that, that that's, that's the outcome is what I'm upset about, just that couldn't, couldn't deliver a, a finished contract. Um, and the, the, the other result of that, of course, is although we had a tentative ag agreement with the, with uh, the instructional assist, the Union 38 instructional assistance, um, that that remains up in the air until we mm -hmm. conclude with, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The worst thing is it's ongoing, it's not, it hasn't ended. Yeah. And I was looking forward to it ending. But you won't be meeting with them until six months when the state gets um, you together. Pretty much, and then there's different processes, the specific processes and methods mm. that you can choose from and whatnot. We're going to be choosing the soonest, whatever has the, uh, the, the opportunity to, because you know, we think it's possible that with just one session with a mediator, we might be able to, we might be able to make progress. So oh, that's good. Uh, so sorry, teachers. Mm. There's a lot of, lot of rumors and innuendo going around. Okay, Robert. I had a few that others were might have been at, but I'll I'll mention them anyway. So uh, at the last meeting, uh, I believe it was in Tom's update, he mentioned that he and I were going to get together and talk about the the aggregation survey. So we did we and uh, and we added in there as he mentioned last time um, another question about how. Uh, how amenable the town would be or how against the town would be to include electricity generated by burning wood in our in our um, the electricity that we're buying according to the aggregation and, uh, well, and specifically primarily in the green, in the green side yes it's, um, it's, there's a good likelihood that the state is going to um, begin uh, authorizing a number of wood burning um, uh, uh, plants both in Massachusetts but also change the rules of how clean wood has to be burned so that our utilities and aggregations could purchase wrecks from the wood burning plants in New Hampshire yeah. and up in Maine yeah. so the, they and they're going to be aggressively marketing them down here yeah. and and each town will be able to choose what kind of green uh, wrecks they wish to support and so we included a question about whether people favored the burning of wood or not. Mm -hmm. so, and, uh, and then last weekend, um, I attended the bee walk that got mentioned uh, at our select board meeting down at the South River Meadow. And there was really a good turnout. A lot of people okay. came. Um, and one of the reasons was it, was it was right before the cannonball croquet. Yeah, so, yeah right. <laughs> Phil was on a team, and I was on a team, and, and it was it was it, it was a good uh, a good battle that none of us had to be experts in, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, was, that was the silliest was thing I've been involved be in a team. long time. I was supposed to be yeah. on a team, but it didn't work out. That, well, you you missed a fun event. I'm sure I did. And, uh, yes, it was extremely silly, and you never knew who was going to be good at it or bad at it. You know, and it, it, it was there was no skill involved. It was. Just a lot of people having fun and learning. There was yet one more rule that you were violating and <laughs> losing points on. So, and uh, and then last week I came to a, a hazard mitigation meeting that we had here. We've been going through a long process with Kimberly McPhee at FERCOG, um, really, and it's it's getting us in line for some grant money so we can do some projects. So. Okay. Good. Well, last week, uh, not last week, week before, I had an MMA board meeting in Boston. Tom was also there. We've we're kind of we've kind of we've kind of taken over um, District One, <laughs> you know. So uh, that was good. And then we had an LGAC meeting after that with the Lieutenant Governor. Now, those are always very very helpful. And and of course, one of the things that came up was Chapter Seventy, the Foundation Budget, Chapter Ninety. It's like you know, the same stuff over and over again. Mm. So, but those are two uh, uh, very interesting and informative meetings. All right, next item on the agenda, public comments. I don't see any public here, so we don't have any public comments. Old business. 
Okay, request for additional Guilford fund dis disbursement. You want to get him to come in? Gary. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. Mr. Hey. Leshevsky, how are you? Hanging in there. Good, good. I just got this five minutes ago. It's a electric, electrician's quote for the house. And uh, trying to find a contractor, building contractor. They're all 10 jobs behind. But I uh, talked with Jeff Light and he came over and looked at the situation and gave me some work to do and uh, he's going to try and get me a quote for the building within two weeks. Okay, so he hasn't given you a quote yet? No. Does he know what it's going to be about? No, but okay. there's a lot to it as far as beams and pressure treated lumber and sill and special paint to paint the uh, fire damaged parts. I'm like, do you want me to do that? Do you want me to do this? He says, no, nope, no, nope, hold off. Just, just do this and do that for now. And so I got the quote from the electrician five minutes ago. Okay. Can you can you can you email that to Tom and Tom can print it out? I can try. Okay, well, we're waiting on that. We've got, um, we've got some... I can't see this time. Oh. <laughs> it's it's like bad. <laughs> I can't see without them either. Oh, that's better. <laughs> okay, we've got some appointments to make. Uh, Frontier Community Access Television, Robert Armstrong. Okay, uh, Bob has been on the board for a long time. So you're not asking for whether I want to do it. Though. I mean, yeah, this is what we're doing. no. We're, you're gonna you're gonna do it. You're gonna, you're gonna you hear the train right. coming? No, no, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, anybody have any questions on that appointment? Enjoy. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, appoint uh, Bob Armstrong to serve on the cable advisory. Committee. Can I make a motion that we do these five appointments together as a single motion? Which five appointments? The ones that are all on the list? No, we'll do them one at a time. They're all different things here. Mm -hmm. So you, you got a second to yours. Maybe I don't know if I count it out. What's that? Oh, second. All right, I'll second. <coughs> yes. Aye. Okay, all in favor? Because these are regional appointments. We've got to do these one at a time. Franklin <coughs> County Emergency <coughs> Dispatch. We've got Bob Baker. You're one. Um, okay. Ken Wimet yeah. and Gemma Van de Hel. Yeah. We got those three appointments. Any exactly. questions on those? No. Second? I'm getting hit by the same Aye. train. Yeah, okay. same one. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, next one is the Regional Transportation Authority, Bob and, Baker. And, and that no. is not Bob Baker. Yeah, that's, um, that's Don Walker. Yes, oh, yes. that's right. Yes. That's right. That's Don that's right. Walker. I'll second the Don Walker it. nomination. Sorry. He's replacing Bob Baker, right? Okay. Um, okay, I'll make a motion that we appoint uh, Don Walker to the Franklin uh, Regional Transportation Authority. It's pre seconded in advance. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Third one the, the Franklin Regional Sign Making Program Advisory Council, Ron Sweet. Any questions on that appointment? I didn't okay. really know what it is, but any, thank any you. second? We have a second. Aye. Second. Okay. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next one is the Greater Franklin Regional Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy Advisory Committee. Bob Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's a big one, Bob. Mm -hmm. Long mm -hmm. acronym. Mm -hmm. Do I have any questions on that? You can't second I can't second my nomination. Oh, nomination. Cool. I'm trying to hustle it along. I'll second there. that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. All right, we have uh, staff through uh, June uh, 2020, uh, administrative assistant to boards and commissions, Alexis Fidejic-Gento. Okay, we have a second. All in favor? Aye. 
Okay, committees through um, June 30th, 220. Wastewater committee, we have Marie Eichen, Michelle Novak, uh, Joe Stragowski, and Carl Nelke. Any questions on those nominations? Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept those nominations, approve Second. those nominations, okay. Last one is the Cable Advisory Committee, Bob Armstrong. Yes, yes, we, we voted. Yeah, yeah, we, oh, you voted. Okay. Sure, unanimous. We have uh, Cable Advisory Committee, Bob Armstrong, uh, Jonathan Barkin, and Bill Arducer. Uh, any questions on those appointments? Uh, I'll make a motion that we make those appointments. Do I have a second? Yes, yes. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay, we're through the appointments. Uh, do we do we get that? No, I'm going to have to do it at home because I don't have service here. Okay, what was his uh, what was his estimate? It's all right here. I just want to tap that up. All right, just tap it up. I don't know how to send it like that. Not being online. Oh. So, so you have a long list of things, and then it ends with an amount, and correct, and um, and then labor parts, and is yeah. there a sum total somewhere? There it is. Eighty eighty four hundred dollars. Eighty four hundred. That sounds like a good deal. I like the first sentence. He says three uh, outlets in in the bedroom that had the damage. I don't need three outlets in that. I can try to cut them down, you know. No, you need to meet code. Yep. Yeah, so redoing it, it's got to come up to whatever the current code is, so that might be what it is now. Mm -hmm. Well, he includes ground panel to code in here. I mean, you know, he's he's if he's rebuilding the electricity in a house. Yes, yeah. about what I. That's what it cost me to rewire my house when I yeah. got it yeah. 20 years ago. Uh -huh. He originally mentioned he thought he could tie into the knob and tube. Knob and tie, knob and tube. Can you do that by code? Knob and tube is not against code, right? But generally, people are it's getting not a rid of it. practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, how many how many quotes do you have? Just that one. He's the, he's the electrician that put in my temp power. So. And he's real busy with the big uh, marijuana grow facility in Turner's. Like a $4 million uh, just for electricity. It might be good to get a second quote just to see if they're close. And do that if I get find somebody who's not 10 jobs behind yeah. this time of year. Peter Bob, Martin's local. Bob Baker. Bob Baker's I, I asked Bob mm -hmm. about yeah, Bob. it, and uh, he said he had some eye problems, and uh, he really didn't want to get into it. Daryl Chase. Okay, so this is just an update, and we'll hear back from you. Yeah, and I'm right now. I'm, weeks. I'm working and doing what Jeff told me to, and I I got my own building permit, by the way. And as far as occupancy permit, guys, there's there's some days when I get done work, I, I can't drive. I got to stay there. I got three bedrooms upstairs with, with no damage. And it's just, I have everything in my home except for hot water on the temp power. Okay. All right. So you'll come back with at least one other quote? Yes. Okay. Great. And uh, building construction. Thank you, guys. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. We have uh, the joint. Uh, Meeting with the finance committee listed at uh, six thirty. Uh, let's let's do the. Do we need uh, the finance committee here for Gemma's request? No, no. we don't. Okay. No. What do we have, Gemma? Um, basically, I got a request from our billing company for us to approve the abatement of two bills that they've deemed 
when collectible. collectible. Um, so, I mean, the highlighted part is the the total amount that they've come up with. Um, and I did email Lauren and ask her to clarify what their codes mean, just to cover all the bases. Um, and basically, it means the the first one which was from a call in May of 2018. Um, they got the majority of it from the patient's insurance company, um, but they've had no luck with the remaining balance that was... Um, and that usually happens, the insurance company pays something and the... Typically, person. yes, yeah. And depending on which, there are some insurance companies that we're contracted with and they're, therefore we only, you know, we accept whatever they pay and that's it. Yeah. Um, the but billing company tries not to do that unless like Medicare and those kinds of things were, were obligate, legally obligated to only take what they, yeah. you know, we can't go after the patient for anything else. But um, are, th are these residents? Yes. They're residents in town right here? Yes. Okay. I believe both of them. So, so why are we not putting liens on their property? We can do that. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. I've never done it before. Okay. Well, so they get here because the billing company determines they're unable to pay. That they're unable. The billing company has had unable no luck collect. collecting the money from them. Do they make any kind of independent judgment about the? I mean. They tell you to write it off, so they they become. Is it just not answering mail? Like, do they do anything more than that? Do they do? Do they run a credit check? Do they run um, anything like? I don't know if they run credit checks. Um, when she originally emailed me, um, the I, the email that she wrote was, um, you know, claims we have deemed uncollectible. Each claim is processed through a series of events in the collection process. Each patient has received approximately six bills. An additional, in addition, Coastal Medical Billing has made an attempt to contact the patient for insurance information through the mailing of a notice printed on pink paper via a phone call to the patient and or the receiving hospital. Um, one of the claims, they were not able to even get insurance information from either the hospital or the patient. The bigger okay, one. The, the, bigger yeah, one. The, the, the uncollectible yes. is, is a designation strictly from the collection company. Okay. It, they don't go into... You know, yeah, I don't whether believe they can pay or not. They've gone they just into can't that. They it. just haven't been able to get anything from the patient in what? response to their, you know, at least six attempts. Um, yeah, do you I, know what other towns do? I just wonder what... I don't know. I mean, this no. must be a common situation. Yeah, we usually um, have a few. Yeah. Yeah, one or two a year. They're usually they're usually non-residents that that happens. Oh, too. okay. Okay. I some well, of them have been. So yeah. Some of them have been. We, we have to first make sure though that it's worth. I mean, it can't cost the town more to get a lien than well, than the town could what, could let's, get. Let's ask Jan what the procedure is, because you know, um, if we have town residents who aren't paying our ambulance fees, that's not good, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel a little bit better about the one that's paid more than 80% of the bill. Well, that's, that was insurance. To pay. Right. Yeah, that was insurance. Yeah, so, to pay. But, but yeah. on, that, on that person's behalf. Yeah. So that's a little bit of a different story than the one that never paid a penny to me. They're still both unpaid. And they're residents right. in town. And they've re received services from our ambulance in an emergency situation. And they're not paying. Let's, let's check it out with Jan. Before we do anything else on these. So, yeah, okay. so what's your next? Are you, are you? Do you carry this on your books or, or what? Um, it stays with Coastal Medical Billing yeah. with the billing company, and they just they keep it on their books, and they continue to try to, you know, make collection on it. Or, I suppose if we want to take time to try to figure out the, with if a lien or whatever is possible, I could have them, you know, just hold off on doing anything else. Or I could have them send a letter to the patient saying, you know, this is the next step. There will, you know, there's a potential for a lien, or I can just leave that out of it and have them continue with their regular, mm -hmm. you know. It doesn't cost a lot to file a lien. Uh, I'll, I'll, let's, I'll work with Jan. I'll 
okay. contact you. We'll, we'll and we work should have out. a policy yeah. for the whole. I mean, there should be a policy in place. I mean, we shouldn't treat residents different than non-residents regarding collection, and we should well, treat well, the reason, the homeowners reason, different well, than the, renters. The reason that you can't collect from a non-resident is because you have nothing to to leverage against. leverage against or lean against. If someone's here visiting and they use the ambulance service and they're billed and they don't pay us, there's not much we can do about that. But if we have a resident, I mean, you know, what, you want the rest of the town to pay pay those bills for the resident that didn't pay? No, I'm just saying everybody should be treated, everybody similarly situated should be treated similarly. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Fine. Well, to the extent possible is what he's saying. Yeah. Because it, it, it's not possible to treat everyone like that. But yeah. that, but it, but it does, it does bring up the, the possibility of a, of a, maybe a written policy so that yes. everybody knows and is, is put on notice. Uh -huh. Sure. And, and, and so that, that, that can be part of the discussion, the future discussion about the lien is the general um, policy. And I can, I can maybe work with Jamma to draw something up about that. Good. Okay. And Jan. Yeah. And I, I believe there, one of them I'm not 100% sure is still a Conway resident, um, the larger one, of course. Um, and that call was almost, was a year and a half ago, it was December of 2017. Mm -hmm. so, um, but I believe, I, they were both residents at the time, I believe they, they still are, but I'm okay. not positive on that. All right, we'll, let's check it out. Okay. Thank you, Gemma. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah. You too. I'll be in touch. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Sign stipend authorizations. That's next on the agenda. Uh, okay, we have a couple of minutes before our finance committee comes in. All right. These are our semi-annual stipends. Okay. That we sign every year. Just, I'll make a motion that we sign these stipends. Do I have a second? Second. I haven't in, seen them yet. I get one. Okay. Um, All in favor? Aye. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen them yet. I don't know what I'm voting on, so. I, well, there, 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 are, there are semi-annual stipends. The town pays okay. stipends to the emergency management to the select board. Just, just <laughs> don't, don't the, sign your own. Okay, don't sign your own. Okay. There's only a few of them. Okay, I now know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. I will second your motion. Okay. There you go. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. You could sign your own, but John is suggesting it would be better form. Better form? Absolutely better form, yes. Mm. See, I can, I can sign bonds. While we're doing this, can we call them in there? And I can sign fills. Yeah, I can even get him an extra chair. I'll sign you right here. Okay. Um, Could you, could you change that one? Please. Thank you. Yep. Tom? 
Uh, they, they go on the, yeah. on the side. They do not quite yet have a quorum, but they expect oh. one at any moment. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, wastewater committee request for vote to support the MassWorks grant application. I think Joe so is Joe's going to be is in Joe going to be in? Okay. I, yeah. I think All right. We'll hold off on that later. All right. Okay. But there is I, another appointment. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, not anticipated 48 hours in advance. We have an appointment starting July 1 for um, Gail Sullivan to the Cultural Council through June 30th, um, 2022. Recommended by the Cultural Council. Okay. Um, so though, recommendation uh, of the Cultural Council? She could not come in, and I forget exactly why, but... Um, okay. Yeah. But we do have the Cultural Council's recommendation on it. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, any questions on that appointment? Okay. I'll second. make a motion that we uh, approve that appointment. Do I have a second? Yeah. All in favor? Yes. Sir. Okay. Gentlemen, how are we Hello. doing? Good, thanks. You guys almost ready? Well, we're waiting for we're, our, we're our... Looking our, for your quorum? The third, <laughs> the third of the leg of the train. Did, uh, did you check across the street? The no, no. Okay. No, so. Yeah. No, I told Tom to come here to town. We office. could send the state cops. No, 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 we don't want to come <laughs> Tom, Tom. Send a town cop. Do you have your uh, update for us, Tom? I do. Yeah. Oh, great job. Thank you. A bunch of updates. Uh, in committee news, the Agricultural Commission is continuing to work to schedule a meeting to resolve a dispute on North Poland Road involving noisy geese. An initial date was set, but one of the parties was unable to attend. The hearing could be in late July or sometime in August. And the Planning Board has received a request for a special permit for the Roaring Glen Company. Details? Details? That's on Roaring Brook Road. Yes, yes. So I figured that. That's, just, the, that's the details? Yeah. That wasn't much of a detail. No, there are no details at this okay. point. But they have received a request for a uh, special permit. So they're presumably at their uh, first of their their first meeting in July, they'll have a, uh, a hearing. Um, they, they do actually have to... Uh, advertise it, I think, two weeks in advance. So this may or may not have come in time for them to post the, the hearing notice. But whatever the process is, the, it has been set in motion. But that's all that has happened. There, there's, there's nothing else. Uh, no other details are available. Hmm. Okay. Uh, in departmental news, uh, Lisa and I are planning an all-staff meeting later in July for both harassment training and some logistics around the town academy. The training will be done by Maya's Employee Assistance Program. Uh, we're nearing the end of the 32B Health Care Plan Change Odyssey with the Treasurer preparing a one-time health insurance premium credit to teachers at the beginning of the fiscal year and to IAs and others who have 10-month positions in September. The transition to our new town clerk has gone quite smoothly, and I invite you all and all our residents to visit her in the old but renovated space. As you may know, she has extended the posted hours to 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Uh, the town has purchased two emergency management laptops with the MEMA grant. Our IT consultant will be preloading them with a number of related websites and resources. One is for the Emergency Operations Center, and one is for the Assistant Emergency Management Director. The director already has one. We may need a special town meeting to cover the cost of an additional Smith Agricultural and Vocational High School student. Oh, prior to September? Uh, I am awaiting word from the school as to the final enrollment. I have not included a buffer for this in the past in the operating budget, as it would be about $35,000. But it might be something to consider to avoid this particular reason for a special town meeting. And we'd have to get that out of free cash rather than putting it in and having it go towards the next year's free cash if we didn't need it. So that's something to consider in the future. 
The four towns in Frontier had our kickoff meeting with Deb Radway regarding a shared HR function. She will meet with each town <coughs> and Frontier individually and assess the current state of HR before coming up with the overall need and options for appropriate staffing. I have asked the ambulance director to track her hours as I believe she may be compensated at a very low rate. I may well recommend a raise in the stipend for that position in FY 2021. Okay. That's what I've been thinking. Any questions for Tom? <coughs> Talking about a, a, a town meeting, special town meeting prior to the September one that's tentatively maybe planned for September or October. Because we know the highway committee is looking to be in there, right? With the highway garage committee. Oh yeah, it, it, so. there, there there could be it could be all one. It, the, the timing for this isn't all that important. It just um, it would be good to get it done before the end. Of the time. <coughs> yeah. Where I've heard of towns get hit like this before is when suddenly three or four, some large number of kids suddenly go to a charter school, and and it could happen right up to the opening of school. Really, charter schools um, would take. Um, more on the order of fifteen thousand dollars each student or if transportation is required is thirty five thousand for an out of district vocational school yeah uh, uh, we're not obligated to transport students that go to a charter school outside your town right but we are obligated to pay for, for out of district vocational, vocational yes. school yes, yes. That's, that's true. Okay. and it would be cheaper to buy them a car if they're able to drive. Didn't that happen a couple of years ago? Uh, no, but everybody talked it about it. It was discussed. Uh -huh. <laughs> it certainly was discussed. Okay, but, so here we are. But, but we, does this mean we need to think about some kind of reserve fund for this type of thing? Mm -hmm. We have to make it. It's a few, I've seen it for a few, the finance committee meeting. That, that's enough money so that, I mean, we either put it in the budget, in the overall big operating budget, or we have a special town meeting. It's $35,000 just for one student. Right. Yeah. So that would be if there were two, that would be seventy thousand dollars. That's a that's a huge yes. hit. Yeah. What's so. the town? What's the cost to run town meeting? Special town meeting? Not much. Do you know what it costs? It doesn't cost much, but it costs some people's time. Yeah, yeah, but we're talking cost. I just wonder if you had an idea. Or something. Mm -hmm. No, it's 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 it. There's there's very little cost. The mailing's the most. The mailing. Yeah. 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 Yes. Good. Okay, we got the finance committee here. A End of year transfers. Uh, okay, to 150 for the uh, the copier maintenance. Tom, do you have some info on both of these? Uh, yeah, and there is actually a second item as well. Mm -hmm. There is a bill for Verizon for forty dollars um, that was unexpected. Um, we we just. We tried to include all of the subscriptions we have, and we just missed a $40 one when we were coming up with the original amount. Uh, but I got the final figures from uh, our accountant today, and it's more than I thought uh, it was going to be. This this is based on a, on a bill for a little over $600 for uh, copier maintenance. And I had thought that between um, buying a new copier and which were in the, which is in the works. That was uh, part of the budget and explained in the budget and all of that. Um, and I, I also did not realize that the that the invoice we got was for FY19. I thought it was going forward, um, so I misjudged what was in my account, and um, so I am actually requesting that full amount plus. Uh, well, 625 would pay both the 40, $40, $40 bill and the copier bill um, because I am still at $36 in the black at this point. Okay. So, so you're talking about 625 you want in here in this blank? And that would be transferring it from the, you know... The um, FERCOT line? Yeah, 609. Because we got money back on the FERCOT line, didn't we? Oh, we have $2,300 left in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, if that was 610, 640, then that's 650. And the 36. Um, 86. Uh, 686. That we, um, that we're still in the black. If we, 
take that out, that would be six, 624. So yeah, th this should leave me with a dollar. Um, you could make it 630 just to um, make so sure that all the rounding. 630? That would make 630. sure that if there were any rounding errors, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything bad. Okay, so we're taking 630 from the FERCOG line, which we have 2300 in, and we're just putting it in the town administrator line. Is that correct? Yes, that's my request. Okay, 630. Okay. And then we have a request to transfer 10000 from the town clerk's salary wages line to the town clerk operations line. It's actually the, the reverse. We're taking it from the operations line uh, where I thought it should go, and it's going back into salaries and wages because uh, she would be unable to make the uh, to meet the tests of an independent contractor. Mm -hmm. So she has to be paid a salary rather than a contractor. Okay. Do you, do you want to do you want to change that one? Oh, this is for our fifty dollar an hour mentor. Yes, consultant. Did you know that? If you know, I do know, but she, she, she a consultant, or she's an employee now. She's not a 1099, she's in the RP. No, she's an employee now. She's an employee yeah. who got her pay doubled upon retirement. Now, that's not going to, so this is post retirement, so it's not going to affect her retirement. Uh, one no. of the town's that's, retirement that's, obligations to her, right? No. no. Okay. Is that correct? Wait. Yes. No. Sorry about that. Yeah. Go, no, Will. Say it again. We're allocating another ten thousand dollars. We're moving ten thousand yeah. dollars to the town clerk's from, salary line from right? operations, from operating line. Well, well earlier we moved line. it the other way. Right. And, well, it was it was in the budget. Yeah, yeah. And when it was yeah. before the regular the finance committee in the regular meeting, and when it was a town meeting and discussed at length, um, nobody ever mentioned that the plan was to increase her salary, to double her salary to fifty dollars an hour. And that that's what this entails. Yeah. And, and that, that was that was what she was planning to ask as a consultant. Right. And so there was a total amount of money that was based on how much she'd work. Um, but she's how many hours she would work. But, she's doing it but now she's doing it as, as a salaried yeah. person. Matt, as a salaried employee now, is she going to be developing some type of a, a manual or something? As a, a it's it's just manual? for the current town clerk to to be able to draw on her expertise as she finds necessary. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so it's like a $50 an hour retainer? When it's no, necessary? It's not paid no, retainer, it's paid as, as, it's, it, as it's done. But it's based as, as necessary. Yeah. Yeah. So it might not be 10000 So she doesn't have any, does she have scheduled yeah. hours or not? Because it seems like it would be on the fly. No, no, no more as 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 be just as the current mm -hmm. town clerk mm -hmm. needs her. What, 10 cents a, a day? You know, I mean, all right. never mind. That's, that's yeah, I mean, it's not even that. To me, it's just the, the, the fact that this was discussed repeatedly, this well, was discussed at town meeting, and like, this vital piece of information was, was not disclosed, and the, we have to do better with transparency and with what we're doing as government. We're, we're, well, we're, we're being transparent. That's fine. It was, it was the total amount of money that was, you know, the, uh, the main focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and that was based on what she said she was she would charge, and um, you know we uh, wasn't it also a guesstimate, you know, an estimate on how much might be needed. Well, yeah, it's a maximum. Yeah, that's a, it's a limit. Yeah. All right, that's already been decided. What we're doing, right. what we're doing here is transferring money from one town clerk account to another. That's all we're doing here. Okay. The other is is not part of this. All right, uh, I'll make a motion that we... Well, do they have to move first? No, no. We'll, we'll, no we can go, then we go. We we'll, affirm, we'll do it, then we affirm. Do you want to go first? I don't, I don't know who goes first. What's on second? I don't, I don't know. Okay. I, we we both have to agree. I don't, I don't care who goes first. Well, you go first. You go do first, it. okay. You want us to go first? Yeah, yeah. Sure. fine. Do it okay. the same time. It's All Monday. Right. I'll make a motion that we transfer $10,000 from the town clerk operations line to the town clerk salary and wages line. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. It's done. It's done. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Second motion is to approve the transfer 
of $630 from the FERCOG line, that's the Franklin Regional County uh, of Government's line, uh, which has um, $2,300 in it approximately, to the town administrator line. Do I have a second? And so this is for last year, this was money they didn't spend. So exactly. It won't come back and that's exactly. right. Yes. Right, and I, I did check with them and they do not have any open invoices with us. Great. So I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Thank you. Now the finance committee. Okay. You can do you can do your uh, you can do yours. All right. So okay. we'll start with the uh, town clerk position. So I make a motion that we affirm the action of the select board transferring ten thousand dollars from the town clerk salary wage line to the town clerk line 161. Well, how come that's so, again can you tell me once more why Alan? I, I, I thought that she would have to be a consultant but it turns out she has to be a salaried employee because we so I put it in the wrong place in the budget for right. next year so it's it already there it's just Moving it to the right account. Understood. Who uh, who decided that she had she couldn't be that she had to be that state? Yeah, it's uh, it's the independent contractor mm. law, oh. and she doesn't meet the tests of being an independent <coughs> contractor. Who, who brought that to your attention? Was it Mike Coachella, the town? That account? was our personnel committee. Personnel committee. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very valuable. Yep, 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 yep. Thanks. There you have it. Mm. Anyone, anyone wish to make a second? I, I just would like to say one one thing. Okay. So, what about the payroll taxes that necessarily follow a town employee? Is that part of that ten, or is that going to overdraw another budget? Yeah, so no, no, that 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 gets taken oh, out as a. That's part of yeah. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Second. 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 Okay. Second. Okay. Second. All those yeah. in favor? Uh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's gross gross yeah. wages. Unanimous. <laughs> Yeah. You all hang together. No hanging. <laughs> Roy, how do you spell your name? Holy <laughs> cow. Uh, and now there is a there is another like one. Bill. Oh, have a go. How, how about we do the six hundred dollar next one? Do that oh yeah, one. do that one. That's what we hold it there, and then actually I'll I'll come up with a form while you're doing that because okay. I only got this one about ten minutes before the meeting. So this is a motion to affirm the uh, select town, town select board approval for transferring six hundred thirty dollars from the fur cog line number eight thirty to the town administrator line number one fifty. Well, and is there a motion to uh, second? Yeah. Well, well, you 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 stating the motion, right? No. Well, is there a motion to uh, approve this? Although, any we have a second on that. Second. All those opposed? And all those in favor? Yeah. Aye. All right, good hands. Right away. Yep. And a quorum. We have a quorum. Amen. Did that gal she ever come back from Texas? No, she's in Europe now. Oh my. She's selling hard to eat? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hard to eat? Is that what he said? Hard to eat. Oh. Hard to eat. Oh. 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 It's one of our go-to spots. There's three other good requests. Spot. There's three other requests for transfers. <laughs> $2,111.68. That's a weird name. She goes, no, how healthy. 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 Underestimation yeah. of time required to update the maps to our valuation system. That's for the uh, town assessors. And then there's $600, which is for adding new houses and outbuildings. It was not included in the mapping contract. And then there's uh -huh. it's all for the assessors. And for the assessors also, $363.95 to cover the net final difference among non-salary wage items for the uh, assessor's department. I, mean, are they, are they, I didn't see that on the, uh, is it on our, for tonight's uh, agenda? It wasn't okay. on our agenda. No. It wasn't. What's that? The assessors? Yeah, the assessors. yeah, that's a transfer from the reserve fund. I figured you might as well do it while you're all here. So if you want us to vote for it but, now. But we do have one oh, yeah, more I thought the season was over. Oh, right. the, 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 Okay, this is going from, uh, what is this for, Tom? Uh, this is for the Board of Registrars. We just found out. This is our end of 
fiscal year report here oh, where we got all the bottom lines of all the budgets we went out the board of registrars is was it $235 uh, over their spending for some reason. Okay, so again, uh, this, is a, this is a surplus in the Franklin Regional Council of Governments line of $2,300. We just took uh, 630 out of that, so it's about 1670 in that account now. Uh, and we're looking to transfer $234.25 from that FERCOG line to the Board of Registrars line. For that's 2019, correct, Tom? Yes. Okay. I'll that's, make a motion. Is that, that the best information we have? Is just because it's they're over for some reason. I got it at a quarter of six. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Sure. We own the money. <laughs> these, these are year-end transfers. They happen every year, Phil. Don't worry. <laughs> Just a matter of, of balancing a couple of things. I'm more wondering about the ones you have that we don't. Oh. If it were 2,000. Oh. I am too. Mm -hmm. All right. So now there's 1,440 or so in your fraud. We got a little more. Right. Your That's fraud the fraud fund. All right. So, I make, there right here now. Frog. I make a motion that we affirm the select board's vote to approve the transferring of $234.25 from the FERCOG line, number 830, to the Board of Registrars line, number 162. Second. 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 All those in favor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unanimous. Thank you. Didn't the state do away with the county government years yeah. ago? To yeah, well, the this stuff just don't die. FERCOG. Took its place. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> By any other name. <clears throat> Planning committee. That's the other name. Right. Yeah. Furcock does a lot of good work. They do. Sure. Well, it's sure. not like the county government didn't do nothing. Yeah. Take a look at their top salaries. Mm -hmm. Oh, go down to UMass. Yeah. Who? Yeah. It'll make even an IT guy's head spin. Yeah. There you go, right. So. Tom, we have these three other items here. Transfers from reserve funds, you want to vote last night, now jointly with the those are Those are, yeah, I, as long as you're here, Lee, uh, for the assessors, has asked for those items. Okay. Did she talk about this, like, 10 minutes before town meeting? At this year's town meeting. This second is already in Monday, budget, isn't Second it? Monday right in here before Four town minutes. meeting. <laughs> Right? Is this some of the stuff? Because Lee was bringing up some issues, but yeah. at the time there was other stuff. Oh, that, yeah, that was about the conversion of their uh, yeah. software. Oh, the so software. This, is, this is looked to me like it's uh, just unanticipated expenses. Expenses. Which is why I think they're asking for it for the reserve fund. And when we could have done it as a transfer between accounts, but the reserve fund has $27,000 in it okay. now. So. This is for fiscal year 19, not 20, right? That's 19. 19. 19. 19. Yeah. That's 19. The year we're still That, that ends yeah. at the end of the month. Yeah, okay. So it's fiscal year 19. So it's already, it's already budgeted for, right? Well, that's why it's that, from the reserve. That's 19. That yeah. ends at June 30th. Yeah, it ends at the, the end of this week. It ends weekend. Friday. This weekend. That's right. All right. Already. Another fiscal year ago. So <laughs> I make a motion that we uh, hereby approve the request of transfer from the reserve fund. In accordance with Chapter 40, Section 6 of the Massachusetts General Laws, the amount of $2,111.68 to be transferred to the account 111-0 uh, quadruple zero assessor's wages. Do I have a motion? You made a motion. So moved. Yep. Mo so moved. So moved. All those in favor? You got to get a second. So second. you made the second. motion. You made the you motion. Make a second. How did you say? I think no, I, I said so moved. Did so anybody moved. else second? Did you second? You second? I will. Okay. Second. You make a second it. Okay. All right. All, All those, those in favor? favor? Yeah. I guess. Aye. All right. So unanimous. Today is June twenty fourth. And so that's being switched over for wages. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's um, probably that's related to the extra. Um, they they, uh, they did a lot of um, work checking on people's houses this year, and they actually added a staff person to do that wow. because one of the assessors was unable to uh, 
uh, physically unable to do the work. Make the right. rounds. All right, thank you. On the uh, topic of assessors, so I hereby make a motion that we uh, allow for the transfer from the reserve fund in accordance with Chapter 40, Section 6 of the Massachusetts General Laws, the amount of $600 to be transferred to the account 580 quadruple zero, the assessor's map updates. It's for adding new houses and outbuilding that was not included in the mapping contracts over the past several years, but is now charged separately from our annual parcel corrections and additions. Adding these structures is necessary, especially for emergency services use. So I make a motion. Do I have so a moved. second? So moved. Yeah, second. Right. Second. second. Okay. All those in favor? Yeah. Aye. Uh, thanks. Thank you. And wages, map. Yeah. Thank you. All right, third and final agenda item. We have a motion here to allow for the transfer from the reserve fund in accordance with Chapter 40, Section 6 of the Massachusetts General Laws, the amount of $363.95 to be transferred to the account 141300 to 580 assessor's operating costs to cover the final net differences among non-salary wa slash wage items this includes the extra $950 that was paid by the assessor's department for the one-time secure staff site starter fee that serves several other departments as well as the assessors. Do I have a motion? Second. 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 All those in favor? Yeah, I don't think I understand what that's about, but it that, don't that, matter. Well, that's, 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 that's so good. Um, There's the attitude. That's the, uh, the, the current website um, <coughs> or the one as of uh, a month or two ago uh, was <coughs> a lot more basic and now staff are able to access the names of the people who own the property and there are also um, the possibility now for data layers for um, uh, vulnerable populations, handicapped or elderly, um, medical issues, that sort of thing. But that would be that would be a confidential part of the website that you'd have to use a password for. In order to enable that, they um, they uh, subscribe to this service. Uh, this is to be clear. It's not, it's not the town website. It's a GIS. Right. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. the it's the mapping it's the mapping the site. mapping function. The, the access it, the access yeah. site. It, you should, it's on the town website. Take a look at it sometime. Go over there and have a show it to you. All right. You'll you'll be pretty. It's on amazed. a computer. You can oh, get it online. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you can get it online. Beauty. It's access slash Conway. All right, good beauty. So do we have a unanimous vote in favor? So. Aye. Yeah, Aye. Yeah. Yeah. Aye. You do. Now. This might well be all we have to do for the end of the fiscal year. Wow. Um, we also just learned that not only do we have a $4,000 deficit in our state charges, um, uh, the, the, but we, uh, we're looking at another 9000 for charter schools that, that uh, was not in our original budget that we will also be charged. Now I, I had a I was able, able to have only a very brief conversation with Mike before he left today. This was while everybody was still well, we all were here, um, and we agreed that. Um, Who's Mike? He's our accountant. Okay, sorry. Just wondering. Um, he he believes that we can run a deficit in that account, and. Um, He's going to look into that further. Uh, it's conceivable that um, in a couple of weeks uh, we might have to move as much as fifteen thousand dollars from the reserve fund, mm -hmm. uh, or you guys might have to, to um, to to these state charges, to mm -hmm. a charter school charge, and to something else. Mm -hmm. There's charter school in there. That's the that's the large one. That's nine thousand dollars, and there's six. That's an odd charter school charge though. for something like that. Um, yeah. Well, it, it's just the remainder of, of 
whatever we didn't have. Whatever we budget. owed for all this stuff. It's not an additional so. student uh, at the last minute choosing. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. It, it, it could have been. I mean, if it was, yeah. it would be about what, what the per student cost for our elementary school. So this is to close out our current so fiscal year. This is, do that. And this is yeah. for the grammar school, not the regional. If it was no, a regional, it would no. come out of the school budget. Yeah. Right. It, it, it comes out of, it's a state charge. It's not even... Right. It comes out of the governor's budget in the, way, in the way that your charter char charges were reconfigured. And mm -hmm. he, uh, the, the budget that he put out um, uh, hurt the towns that have some charter, but not so many charter that mm -hmm. it, it whatever. So we're in that sweet spot, in that middle spot, mm -hmm. that um, we don't benefit from any changes and we only get hurt by them. So, okay. so he's going to look into that further, and okay. he may make a request to the finance committee to make a reserve fund transfer of about fifteen thousand dollars for state charges. Um, yeah, I'll show you where that is in here. But okay. the, but the um, the nine thousand isn't on here. But the nine thousand for the charter school that's something that happened. Yep. It's not something that the kid's school. going to go. He said it's right. happened. It's a, it's a foundation formula fund. Well, it sounds like. Magical hocus pocus. Right now, the school, we're in debt for ch school choice assessment, $4,400. And, and we're expecting another $9,000 charge on top of that. So it would be more like $13,000, $14,000. This, was this impossible to foresee? I mean, because was, did something change mid-year? Is that what you... Uh, that's a fill of the same time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the governor's budget so changed mid year, uh, and it's still sort of up in the air, from okay. what I understand exactly. Okay. Well, the so, governor's budget, though, it's a proposal. So, so, you, so you can't no, really. That we, I mean, it's that a, proposal is, are the rules that we're bound by. All right. That the school district puts together the, the their budget every year based on the governor's budget. Well, uh, yeah, but it's not the governor. I mean, the governor presents a budget. The in legislature passes in it. the summer. Yeah, in the like summer. Not, the they're they're supposed to pass it by point. by the end of June. But they usually pass yeah. it by the end of July or maybe right. August. Right. So. right. I mean, that was one reason yeah. why the town started whooping their town meetings further back. Might have a better idea what the hell the state's going to do. Right. Yeah, and we'd have a better idea, but we still don't have the final picture. And this is the kind of stuff that the. Finance committee and select board have to deal with at the end of the year, well, right? Especially the finance. That's committee. why we have a, yeah. one reason we have a reserve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it would be it's fine if it's one year it's this, next year it's a Brit something or other. But yeah. if you get hit with it all at once, then God help us, really. Yeah. I mean, but so that's nine thousand. What, what's are there any other larger items comprising the other six thousand, fifteen thousand other estimated um, deficit? No, I think it's all charter school. It's all charter school related. Um, related, okay. yeah, right. and and class that's already happened, not like this, uh, not like a youngster may be going to Smith. Yeah, this is for FY19. The yeah. fiscal year just ended. This is for a prior. Season. So can we move money out of the prior year reserve fund after July 1st? You could move it now. Right. You just want to get rid of yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, if it makes it easier, we can. We can I think do yeah, it. until July 15th. If you do. Uh -huh. All right, yeah, until July 15th. So. If, 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 if you think you'll be able to get together between now and July 15th, that's fine. If if, if you don't, okay. you so could move 15000 now. We move it just now. If they don't spend it, it goes into free cash just like the uh, reserve. It right. doesn't matter. So if you want to save us having to get together, I mean, I'm happy to yeah, well, I might as well. go on it now. But we don't have the paperwork. Yeah, mm -hmm. Do we need paperwork? Oh, sure you do. Well, oh, I can. I can not. We may as well. This is other. This is other business, I guess, right? But the the charter fund. This this is probably elementary school age kids because I would think the dollar. And, I mean, yeah. we we talk a lot about what frontier costs us, but one of the things that one of the real benefits is that our our high school age charter costs get rinsed through the frontier formula, um, so that those costs are are apportioned based on the percentage of students. So our own town. High school age charter cost we're paying 16 cents on the dollar for it and the other three towns are covered we, we we pay for their kids too but um it's a huge benefit and it, it ends up to be on some one of the years it was a hundred thousand dollar benefit to our town we're about a sixth of the 
regional yeah. school, right. but we're more than a six. No, it's used to charter used to, school kids. We used to be less, but then those 13 kids showed up. Yeah. Right, and they found yeah. a bunch of kids last year. Yeah. And hey, where are you kids from? Yeah. <laughs> they just appeared. It's your bad. Oh, it's good. Like, how the hell that didn't happen? You know what, you how they didn't know till the end of the no, year? No, it's all foundation for They're going to nab you for harass? Huh? 13 kids? Huh? What? I mean, it's a five-year rolling average, so our, our average assessment well, is going out going to be trending up. Budget season, all of a sudden, 2013 the school committee, the state actually, the state told year. the town. So what are we moving up to the You'll never as far as paying in. Next year. You guys got 14 more students Almost down at the frontier than, than you guys got paperwork for. Than we actually had. But, so no, in terms no. of the truth. Those kids were there. We They weren't on, the, on our papers, but the state had them. So it was called by the state. Say, so you got 13 or 14 more kids down there than you're saying you do. Oh boy. Whoa, huh? Isn't this the information? Is that, actual head count? is that an actual headcount or is that based on a formulation? That's what the head, October 1st headcount is what they use. So yeah. we actually undercounted by 13. Wow, that's amazing. Right? Wow. I mean, how many kids from the town went down there? Wow. Yeah, I, I don't remember off the top huh, of my head. That's right amazing. Now, but, um, can't be that many. Whatever. So do, do you understand why I, I feel this doesn't matter? It's the money's going to find its way back to free cash yes. no matter yes. what. So right. we, we have no choice, really. I mean, well it we should hope it does, but if it doesn't, I mean, we okay. have to state mandate. So try and warn well, this. We're going uh, right. to pay it at some point. Yeah. So you are going to pay it at some point. Yeah. I make a motion that we approve for the transfer of the, of the reserve fund in accordance with Chapter 40, Section 6 of the Massachusetts General Laws amount uh, of as much as $15,000 for the estate assessment and charges for our uh, charter school assessment and to uh, and if whatever is not used goes back to free cash. And do I have a motion? So Can you we'll just make one? Yeah. I mean, do I have a second? Second. 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 All, of, all in favor? Aye. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. Now you get some wrong. And John, thank you for right. indulging that. Probably not. Yep. See what well, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah, yeah. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Well, awesome. had a nice. It's been a great year. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Good. You'll see what. Boy, well, thanks for coming in. So a chapter seven. Alan, you're welcome. Good to see you. Thank you, Thomas. Thanks for being so hot. Hey, I'll see you around hospital. campus. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, see what, let's see what chapter seven when we get to the town with this, sure. uh, this major influx of revenue, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a major <laughs> influx. Okay, good night, folks. So we're still waiting for Joe. Uh, yeah, I guess right. this might not be. What do we have to do for Joe? Um, approve that he send in the, the same grant application that he, he sent in, he sent in before for the uh for the wastewater treatment yeah uh, same move, thing i'll move to support and or approve that uh as desired i'll second that you sure you yeah. sure phil yeah yeah, yeah. I like okay that. all okay. right all in favor aye okay all right so joe is approved Good. all right any concerns of the selectmen yeah um just the letters the emails is the we're gonna we're gonna get spring we're gonna, spring we're, 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 whatever we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna get to be that under the mail. mail yeah any other gotcha. concerns that you gotcha. have um and any talk about any any thought about horse trading with Gary right away uh, what, what are we talking about a, that a lean or something like that we put that on the agenda or at least talk about that for next time oh you mean oh. oh. Yeah, well, you know, huh. we're, we're going to, we, we've got to, uh, yeah, we've got to do something about that. <coughs> well, well, he'll be in in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, and we can, we can, we can talk about it, and we can talk with Jan and yeah. all that. Yeah, definitely. That's it. Okay. You have any concerns, Robert? No, I'm good. Okay, under mail. Mail. Okay, we got a letter from Eversource about their uh, vegetation management program. Phil, do you want to say something about this? 
Well, the letter was dated in March or something, right? Or, uh, dated yeah. a while ago, and it, it, it called for a comment period that ended a while ago. So I, um, we had to have gotten it a while ago, otherwise they're putting fake dates on their correspondence. Yeah, no, it, it's an annual letter we get every year. It's not specific. Apparently someone in Asheville uh, went and looked at the source document and found that it included glyphosate, which recently has been, you know... Um, it's Roundup. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it has become a... Uh, what's the correct... What's the technical phrase? A carcinogen. Cause well, du jour. It, yeah, but it's a suspected carcinogen, yes. I think. Yeah. And, um, um, and so there's been some activity from them, and I don't think that it hurts to comment even after an official comment period is close, and even if it doesn't affect their behavior this year, uh, it may affect their behavior I think from in future years. Uh, I, I, I've applied a lot of, of Roundup in my days, and I, uh, there, there are really strict instructions that, uh, you know, it, it, it hundreds of yards away from a waterway, it's really, really bad for fish and water uh, animals and water yeah, life. Yeah, it kills yeah. things. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. that's... When the right of way mostly borders waterways, you're wondering, um, you know, if the, if if they really do apply the stuff. Uh, most uh, and, most and most there's a map. You did get a map right in there, and it does cross the river at the beginning of the um, uh, tangent or whatever that they have, and, and the end. But the I think the concern that a lot of people have is that you know if you're a commercial applicator of it and you get a state contract and it says <coughs> use any of the approved methods, um, the Roundup is by far the most inexpensive of all of your options. That's right. And and the concern is that companies are going to use uh, the most inexpensive options That's so that right. they can make the most money under their contracts, um, and that involves. And it's also in their right of way. Right, but but they have to apply by law. They have to apply by all the rel so the, the the relevant state and federal regulations would prohibit applying it in most of the right of way that goes through our town and through Ashfield. But um, I guess there's really no nobody's yeah, they, sitting, nobody's nobody's watching them as they whatever. are they waived yeah. from like the conservation commission. They no, absolutely so not. They they have some they have said some concerns in here that they have. I don't know how, you know. But, okay, we also, we also got an email from a resident who was concerned about it, and uh, we're going to put uh, a letter together. Tom's going to put a letter together to okay. Eversource uh, stating those concerns uh, about the uh, glycogen being used as a uh, uh, preventative for vegetation. Urge them to seek alternatives and, yes. and not include that in their list of accepted methods, something like that. We also got an, um, an email from the planning board concerning a piece of property here in town. I will not mention which property that is. Um, and if we want to discuss anything about that, we would have to we ha would have to do that in executive session. Um, I, I think that that's worth talking about. In executive session. Well, no, no. yeah, yeah, I understand, that's, okay. but I think that's worth doing if okay. the chair is so inclined to uh, schedule it on the agenda next we, time. We will, we will do we, it. We, 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 I'm, what was the, I'm, I'm sorry, I was writing the, on the previous man. Yeah, about, you know, that, you know what we're talking about. I don't. Okay. Is it a letter oh. in today's package? Yeah. I, 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 I have a hard time seeing what the executive session reason is. If you can specify that, it would be helpful. Well, uh, it's it's negotiation of a contract for real estate, right? That's what we want to talk about. I think they're just talking about planning. They're talking about oh, purchase, oh, that. a piece of property. Oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Ah, oh, I, that. I see, yeah. yes. We'll do that in executive session. <laughs> Uh, okay, we got a, um, a reminder from a Dial, a lawyer, from the Mass Bar Association. Um, you can call Dial a lawyer, and here's the number. Tom, are we going to put this on the website? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Thursday, June 27th, between seven, uh, between five and seven p.m. only. 
you can call up and talk to a lawyer free. Doesn't say what the boundaries are of that, but. So we could put that on the website and so we let people know about it. I can talk to you. I am always reminded of my preference for the deep south pronunciation of that word. Lawyers pronounce liar. Oh, oh, come on now. No, it is. Oh, yeah? In Georgia, Alabama, that's how you pronounce that word. Live. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we're through the mail. Do we have any announcements? Any announcements? Yes, I have an announcement okay. fresh off the press. All right. As of uh, 4.08 p.m. today, we have hired William Hildreth as the new Frontier Union 38 Facilities Director. So one out of five days of the week is our employee at Conway Grammar School, um, or part of one day a week. Um, so William Hildreth is a Deerfield resident, extensive experience with uh, uh, institutional um, uh, facilities maintenance with, with budget staffing facility, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, but he's a long-term Deerfield people and a lot of Deerfield guy, and apparently a lot of people know him and okay. respect him. I didn't know of him whatever, but uh, we have someone in that position. So this isn't related to the capital improvement work? He will be, he will yeah, be, that yes, yeah, okay, great. Will, that will be one of his many yeah. new things, but that will, as well as our tank at the grammar school, oh, he's going to oh, finish great. that thing up this summer. So um, he starts full-time August 1st, but Bob Lesko is uh, going to spend July working with him to get him up to speed. So. Oh, good. good. Okay. Okay. Bob, any news? Nope. No. Okay. Uh, if there's no other media, uh, business come before the board, our next meeting is scheduled for Monday, July the 8th here in the town offices. Um, okay. No other business come before the board. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye.